Hey guys, this is Wacko Lab, and I'm back with part two of how to build this Lego food trailer. Last week I did the part one video, and like I promised, I have this video out this week to conclude the two part series. And, um, last time we uh, left off, last video I left off was just the main structure. It didn't have the roof on yet, or the sliding window inside, or um, the appliances inside and things. But in this video, I will be concluding all of the rest of what we didn't finish. So, stick around, and I'm going to show you how to build this Lego food trailer, part two. To start off, I'm going to show you how to build the sliding window that goes inside of the food trailer. So here's the pieces you're going to need for it. You're going to need a 1x6 brick. Two 1x6 flat pieces. A 1x2 window piece, it's too tall with a slight tint to it. Two 1x1 one one plates. A 1x1 one one plate that is smooth on top. A 1x1 one one clip piece. Oops. Then you're going to need four 1x1 one one cylinder pieces. Then you're going to need this pole piece right here. Two one by one bricks with a stud going out the side, as you can see. Then you're going to need a one by four flat smooth piece. Now you're going to start off by getting your one by six brick and your two one by six plates, and you're just going to stack them all together like this. Then you're going to get your 1x4 plate smooth and on top of it. Get one of your 1x1 one one pieces, put it right there. Get your other one right there. Now you're going to get your cylinder pieces. Put one on top of another on the sides like that. There we go. Then get both of your pieces right here. They are one by one pieces with a stud going at the side as you can see. Get your other one, put it like that. Now get your pole piece here. Stick it through this way. Probably be easier doing it this way. Anyway, stick your pole through like so. Stick it through that one. Probably should have done that earlier, but oh well. You know, as they say, live and learn. Okay, now that'll be good. I just want to get the pole all the way to this side over here, like that. And then you're going to get your 1x2 window piece here. And your last two pieces right here. What you're going to do is you're going to put this, actually, you're going to put this one by one smooth right here on the right side. Put the clip like this on the other side. Then, what you're going to do is you're just going to clip it on the bar, swing it on down like that. Press it down and goes back and forth really nicely. That is how you build your sliding window. Now let me show you how to put it in your food trailer. Alright, so now it's time to put the sliding window in. So what you're going to do is get your food trailer like I have here. This is where we left off last. And get your sliding window right here. And what you're going to do is, as you can see, it is facing this way, not this way, it's facing this way. You're going to put it right there and just snap it in like that. And when you open this up, the awning, you can look in there and 
slide the window over and you see it works like a charm. So anyway, now let's move on to the next part. In this section, I'm going to show you how to build the sink, the grill, and the fryers. Alright, so here's the pieces you're going to need for the sink. You're going to need two 2x2 two two round plates, two 1x2 two flat plates, one 1x2 one um, flat plate with a stud in the center, two of these detailed corner pieces, a water spigot piece, and a base of an antenna. All you have to do is get an antenna and take the antenna off of the base of the antenna and you have a piece like this, but you can always put the antenna back on. It doesn't break the piece at all. And uh, anyway, so to start off, we're going to get these two 2x2 two two round plates and put it together like that. And then we're going to get two 1x2 two flat plates and put them together. Put it on the edge like that. Then we're going to get a 1x2 flat plate with a stud in the center and place on top of it like that oops sorry for hitting the camera and then we're going to get these two detailed corner pieces and place one on one outside like this and the other on the other side that's going to make the sink. Now we're going to get the water spigot piece here and place it right on top of that stud and get your antenna base and then put it on top of it like that. And that's how you make your sink. Now we're going to move on to the grill. Now the grill you're going to need one of these pieces right here and it's three bricks tall. It's one by two, three bricks tall. Then you're gonna need a one by two gray piece that has vents in it. Except it doesn't have to have vents, I just like the vents in it. You'll see why. And then you're gonna need a two by two flat plate, a two by two round smooth plate, a two by two plate, two one by one round plates more like round studs and they're smooth on top and then you're going to need two of these one by one pieces with a stud going out the side then you're going to need this one by two groove piece it's flat And then you're going to need this one by one, one by two, I mean, vent piece. And then you're going to need this one by two transparent yellow piece. What you're going to do to start off is get your two by two flat plate and get both of these pieces right here and put those on the edge of the two by two plate. And then you're going to get your two smooth studs <coughs> excuse me and then you're going to put it on the front of it like that for temperature knobs and then what you're going to do is get this piece right here this one by two brick that has vents in it and put it like that where it kind of looks like there is a space, I mean, where it kind of looks like a spot back here for the uh, stove to breathe, like a lot of stoves have. Then what we're going to do, oops, is get one of these 
one by two vent pieces. Put on the top like that. Get this piece right here. Put behind it. Now we're going to make the vent a hood. So we're going to get the two round plates. Stack the smooth one on top of the normal studded one. Like that. And then we're going to get this groove piece here. Or rail piece, whatever you want to call it. And snap on the edge like that. Get your 1x2 transparent yellow piece. Put it underneath it for a light. Now clip it onto the top of it like that. And it is a Vina hood up here. Which this part up here, the chimney of it, connects to the chimney on top of the roof of the trailer. Which I will show you here in a minute. And it also has a no nice light for the kitchen. But anyway, let's move on to the fryers. What you're going to do is you're going to get these. What you need, I mean, is get two 1 by 2 No, I'm sorry. You're going to need two 2 by 2 round plates. I've been talking about pieces for a while. I'm starting to get kind of confused. Oh my goodness. Anyway, sorry about that. And then you're going to get five of these detailed corner pieces and one water tap piece or water spigot piece and now what we're, we're going to do to start out is get your two round plates put it together like that <clears throat> and then you're going to get four of your detailed corner pieces and put it on each edge of the round plates like this. That's going to be your deep fat fryers. And there we go. Okay. And then we're going to get the water tap piece right here. And this right here. This other detailed corner piece. I'm going to put it kind of like at an angle. Like that. For the basket. That sets into fryers. Like that. And that is how you build your fryer. Now if we get everything we built. And put it together. It should look like that like that actually. Now let me show you how to put it in your food trailer. Alright, now it's time to put the appliances in the food trailer. So we're going to start off by getting the sink that we already have built. And we're going to put it closest to the door. Right there. Now we're going to get the deep fryer and we're going to put it next to the sliding window right there. And then we're going to get the stove here and put it right in the middle like that. And that is how you put the appliances in. Now let's get started with the roof. Now it's time to build the roof. Here's the pieces for the air conditioner that sets on top of the roof. I'm going to show you how to build that first. And these are the pieces. You're going to need two of these pieces right here. I'm not even going to try to describe them because you can see what they are. <laughs> anyway, and then you're going to need two of these 1x2 bricks with um, vents in them. Then you are going to need six of these vent pieces, one by two flats. Then you're going to need one two by two round plate and a two by two plate. You're going to start off by getting 
these two pieces that I just set down and put them together, put the round plate on the bottom, get your two vent pieces, oops, sorry about that, get your two vent pieces and you can either put it vertically, the vents going vertical or horizontal, I don't think it really matters. I'm just going to have mine going vertically. And then you're going to need these two pieces right here. And put those on the sides like that. And then you're going to get your vent pieces and run these however you want. You can have them going that way, or the way I did, kind of like that, but it doesn't really matter, I don't think. So, right now, I'm just going to have it going like this. So that is how you build the air conditioner on the top. I'm going to set that aside, we're going to move over to the chimney that sits on the roof. And the chimney is pretty basic. All you need is this 2x2 two two cylinder brick. And then this 2x2 two two round plate. And you either put it on the top or bottom. I'm just going to put it on the bottom. Like that. Get your black stud here. You need a black stud as well. And a dish. I kind of got ahead of myself then. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put your black stud in between those other studs and it snaps in there really nicely and then you get your disc piece here and you put on top of it like that and that's how you make the chimney so you have your air conditioner and your chimney now let's move on to the banner alright so this is the pieces you're going to need for the banner you're going to need six not six I mean eight of these one by two bricks. Need eight of those. Then you're going to need two of these one by eight flat pieces that's smooth on top. And then you're going to need two of these one by six flat smooth plates. Need two of those. Then you're going to need one one by two flat smooth. Then you're going to need four of these pieces right here. So we're going to get start off by getting four of the 1x2 bricks. And you're just going to tower them on top of each other. There we go. Now we're going to get two of these pieces right here. And put it on top of it like so and then we're going to make another one like that and I'm going to do it behind the camera so I can do it a little faster for time's sake but you build it exactly how you just did that one there we go so now we have two of them and then we're going to get both of these 1x8 plates and put it on the front of it like that. Then we're going to get the 1x6 plates and put it on like that. It should look like this. And then we get this piece right here that we just got done building a minute ago. And we get our 1x2 plate. And what we're going to do is put it on there like that and then get our one by the banner part that has the one by sixes and put it on like this hold on a cotton pick in a second I apologize it goes right here and then the one by sixes go on this side like that and the 1 by 8 goes over here like so so that is how it's assembled right there and now time to move on 
All right, now that we have all that built, it's time to put it on the roof. So what you're gonna need for that is this piece right here, which I believe is a, let me count, six by 12. Yes, yeah, six by 12. And then you're gonna need this somewhat of a six by four, except it has kind of slanted edges on the side. Kind of like that. And then you're going to put those together and use your air conditioner right here to fasten them together like so. And that will be held together a lot better whenever you put it on the roof of the food trailer. And then what you're going to do is put the banner right here and snap it on. right there so it needs to be snapped on one space back where it looks like this and if you're looking at it from the front angle it would be one two three four five six it'd be on the seventh stud to the left and it would be one stud back so there we go and now we're going to get the chimney right here that we built and we're going to put it right there. I'll just hold it up so you can see it in proportion to it. And that chimney there should fit right in over the Vinta hood of the grill. Which I will show you in just a minute whenever we put everything together. To put the roof on, all you have to do is very simple. Get your roof here and have the vent on this side of the trailer and the chimney here, that side. Oops. And just put it on top like this. As you can see, there's some room. See how the banner goes over this piece right here and it kind of hangs off on this side? Well, that's going to make up for it over here where you want to put this over this, uh, these black pieces right here. So as you can see, it's going to go right over them like that. It should look like that. Over here. And over there. Now, let's get a better view of the final product. So if you followed along with the tutorials, this is what the final product should look like. And um, also, another little detail you can add to it is where you hold up whenever you fold up the awning like that you can add these pipe pieces or bar pieces like we added to the back back here it's the same size and color and what you want to do is set one down what you do is kind of put it on the edge here edge of the ordering counter here and fold this on top of it like so. Even it up. And just kind of wedge this one in. And it could take a few minutes to do it. But I have a little bit of practice doing it. There we go. You don't know how many tries it took to record that. To get that to stay like that. Anyway. <laughs> so it could take some time getting those on there like that. But anyway. It's well worth it for the detail as you can see and um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to comment rate and to subscribe and also um, check me out on Facebook because I normally post um, some upcoming projects on there and check me out on the other sites I'm hooked up with all the links to those sites are in the description below and as always thank you guys so much this is Wacko Lab I'll see you next time